Hi everyone, Lucy, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another unboxing video. I promise this is going to be the last one. Games apparently have been fucking hit by unboxing Ebola. This is another game in which you can unbox. It's unturned. It's actually a really cool game. I made a video yesterday on Payday 2 unboxing. A lot of people were angry about that annotation in the top left if you want to check it out. Um, but today I thought I would do an unboxing on this video because I didn't know it had unboxing. Like, still there isn't that many games which actually have unboxing in them. And this is completely different to Payday 2. In fact, it's actually a really cool system for unboxing. As far as I can see, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can get these keys in-game. Of course, you can get the boxes in-game. And they seem... I don't know, it just seems that you actually make profit quite a lot of the time from watching some videos. People seem to get good items. I mean, I said this about Payday 2 as well, and I got fuck all. But still, um, I'm hoping to make some profit. And the system of actually getting them in-game is really cool because they sell for money. So you can probably make profit from playing Unturned. Unturned's a free-to-play game. Completely free to play, and then I've got like the uh, the gold system. Well, not the gold system, but the uh, you'll see in my interview. Like I've got gold Desert Falcon, a bunch of shit because I've got uh, like a gold account or something. It's a really cool game, completely free to play, and you can see they've got a dev roadmap right here, which I've never clicked on this before, so I don't know what's what's here to be honest. But this game was made by like uh, Nelson. He's like 14 years old or something. It's just it's. It's nice, it's nice. It's also got some new maps, Washington and Yukon. So I might try out those in an actual series. But um, without talking about much more bullshit, I'm going to go ahead and do some unboxing. Because I enjoy unboxing and you guys enjoy unboxings. Maybe you won't enjoy it because this game looks like absolute shit. But still, we should get the thrill of, holy shit, I almost got something good. Or, holy shit, I did get something good. So let's go ahead and um, unbox it. Wait, that's a market, okay. How the hell do we unbox these? I don't even know. Um, inspect. I don't know if... It Requires a key to open. Like, I don't even know if I've got... Like, I just bought 20 keys in 10 of each box because I thought that's how it worked. I mean... Um... Um... Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. So we do use normal keys to unbox these. We don't need, like, specific keys for each box. And, um... Just to give you guys a decent idea of how much all these are worth. You can see keys are worth 75 pence each, which is about $1.10. All of these purples right here are actually worth a decent amount of money. So, say, for example, I got something like a rainbow bow tie... Um, I can just go ahead and go, in fact, I'll just search for it anyway, but rainbow bow tie. This is worth more than a key. You can see it's worth six pound for a normal one, and then you've got a bunch of different ones. I've got no idea how the fuck they work, to be perfectly honest, but you can see you can make profit, like, pretty easily just by getting a purple. And that's not talking about getting a red. Obviously, all these blues are completely worthless and shit, but the purples, let's go get a purple, boys. Let's get a purple. Or... I don't know, I feel like because I'm unboxing a decent amount, I could get a red in this video. Maybe I'm being a bit too optimistic with that one. I mean, I was kind of close to getting a red, right? So I'm going to get Obi from there, which I've got no idea how much that was worth, but... Yeah, look it up, boys. I've got a fucking bandana now. Look at how cool I am. Wow. Inspect. Let's go and inspect it. Okay, so we can rotate it. Wow. That cost me a whole dollar, guys. It's a fucking... It's a square with two other squares underneath it. Isn't that amazing? There we go. It's on me now, so I can go ahead and rotate my character. Oh, I've got like the Obi thing and oh, the Obi thing on and my hair on right now. So yeah, it looks kind of weird, but you know, you can see, man, like, wasn't that worth the money I just spent on it? Yeah, of course it fucking was, boys. Alright, let's go and inspect and unbox. So, got 10 of blue, 10 of red. I don't know which order I'm gonna unbox these in. Obviously, you have payday, I pretty much just <sighs> I mean if I just get blues over and over again, a white fedora, that would be pretty sick. Um, I'm gonna be kind of pissed off. But with payday ones, I just kind of did them randomly. Uh, I'll probably do the same thing with this, but that's a pile of shit again. Like, if I can get at least one... I mean, the keys in total cost me, just so you know, they cost me £15, which is about $20, $22, something like that. So if I get one purple, or two purples, that will pretty much pay it off. Not literally, but more or less. So, I mean, it can't be that hard to land on a fucking purple, can it? I mean, oh, no, I'm gonna land on a blue again. Like, literally, I don't understand. I watched a guy's fucking video, and he got, like, he got a rare item, and he got, I think, three purples, and he unboxed about ten. I mean, it's not like, you know, these things... These things on the market sell for that amount of money because, obviously, they're rare. So, I don't know why people don't understand that with some things. Like, um... My Dragon Ball video I made a while ago, or not a while ago, but... I guess about a week ago. People didn't understand that my website had to make profit. Like, things cost money for a reason. Oh, fuck, I was kind of close. Yeah, I was one away from Super Rare Mythical item. But yeah, things have got value for a reason. Things have got to make profit. There's got to be some reason things cost certain amounts of money kind of thing. Um, you just got to think about it in a business sense for a second. And understand that there's a reason these things have value. I mean, this doesn't really have anything to do with that video. But I guess in a sense that they've got value for a reason. And I shouldn't expect to get something decent. 
And actually, I could have bought some keys for cheaper because if I pressed that button right there, I just seen I just seen on the market, I could have got them for sixty three pence each, which would have been even cheaper. And still, I've got another blue. Like, what the fuck? Am I literally gonna have another unboxing of really sad times? I don't know. But yeah, I mean, tell me what you guys think about all these games having Ebola unboxings in them. I, like I said, I do them because I, I enjoy them. People thought I was doing the the um, the payday one because let's drive a red box quickly. I was doing the payday one because I support their horrible um, business. Like, no, that's not why I was doing it. <gasps> Am I gonna get it? I'm. I mean, I've I've got to have it, right? Yeah, yeah. Party eye patch. That sounds nutty, boys. I don't even fucking know. All right, let's let's mark it. Let's see. I mean, that's gonna be worth at least something, right? Okay, it doesn't look like it's in my inventory yet. It's gonna have to refresh my inventory. Let's go search for it quickly. Holy shit, boys! I wish I had my fucking webcam on right now because I'm on the fucking ceiling. Uh, party eye patch. I don't know what difference it's five pound. All right. Oh my god, I mean, that's nutty. That's nutty. It's worth £5, guys, which is about $7. Okay. So, I just got to think about how much money we spent and how much money we need to get back. So, we've made one third of our money back so far. We need, like, one or two decent purples. Like, the most sought-after purples in, in my experience are, like, rainbow ties, feathers, 3D glasses. These ones, not so much. Like, a spark t-shirt. Why is that even purple? It looks like shit. But check out my character right now. There's a 24-7 party going on in my fucking forehead because I'm insane. Let's go. Let's go, boys. So, I, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It reminds me a lot of... Yeah? Yeah? <gasps> Holy shit, boys! Musical astronaut helmet! Fuck, I love this game. This game is amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I didn't have my webcam on because I was like, Alright, I'm just going to get a pile of shit, boys. There's no point. Astro, how do you spell astronaut? Okay, I just wanted to make sure, you know. Ten pound! Like, I've made profit! I've made profit! That's fucking insane, let's equip it. Holy shit, boys! I've got this fucking emitting party music and this emitting party. Like, there's, there's a full party now! There's a full party going on in my forehead! Whoever knew that was possible. I, I like this unboxing a lot, though. It's really cool. It doesn't affect your, your in-game, you know, stats in any way. Like, it doesn't pay day two, making everyone angry. And you can also... Everyone's got a chance of getting it, and it's still worth money. Like, I'm getting insane luck right now. There's no fucking denying that, I think. But there's, there's definitely... It's definitely easier to get better items in this than it is in, you know, CSGO, TF2, all of those kind of things. There's no denying that, either. I'm not sure if you can get the weird stats on everything. I think it looks like it's just purples and reds so that you can get the, you know, the extra stat on, kind of like a TF2. Uh, except on TF2 it was only in hats, I think. I don't really know, I didn't play that game because it fucking sucks dick, but... <laughs> that's beside the point, but this look is, this look is definitely good. This look is definitely good. I mean, if I've made my money back from unboxing half of the cases, something good's gotta be going on, right? So, still haven't hit a single purple. Which is a bit weird, because then I've got two reds. Viking helmet, not bad. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, if you are looking for a survival game, a free survival game, or free to play survival game, this is definitely one of the ones I'd, I'd recommend checking out, because like I said, the, the developer, he does things right, and he's really young, and he does a really good job. You know, having all those new maps and whatnot, and the UI's been completely reworked, I mean, I made some unturned videos a long time ago, paper hat, I want a fucking fedora, dude, he uploaded some TF2 as well. But yeah, um, this game's came a long way, and he's always done things really cool and differently, you know, there's no real free-to-play title which doesn't have some kind of shitty microtransactions. This has this, I guess, which is microtransactions, but they are definitely not shitty microtransactions in the sense that they fuck you in the ass, you know? I'm not sure how much these things are worth. I'm gonna have a look at how much a basic blue is worth. I'd imagine probably like 10p or something like that. So, pilot aviators. So, so you can actually get... So I guess the red things are just like the normal ones, but with a random effect on them. So, that kind of makes sense. So, I mean, I, I don't know, I haven't really seen the... I guess it is somewhere in one of the two cases, but, you know, say, for example, the astronaut helmet I just got, I guess it's somewhere here. Um, or maybe it isn't, I'm not really sure how it works entirely. Let's have a look at spec. Is it here? Yeah, so, yeah, it just gets a blue or, I guess, a purple and gives it a random mythical effect. So, that's how it works. I guess, yeah. So, you, the purples will just be purple, but you can get a, you know, a purple, which is a red, if that makes sense. So, I'm surprised it's actually worth so much money. I guess it's just because it's cool. Um, so, it's not like it's went down in value a fuck ton because it's a blue with effect, an effect on it, if that makes sense. Did I get two reds in a row, by the way, or did I get... I don't know if it was like a bit of a, a split in between those two. Kind of close to a red there. Kind of. Two away. 
I mean, let's just get one normal purple. Like, the normal purples are pretty good. If they are ones which look pretty sexy, then obviously people desire them very much. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys won't be too angry over this compared to PDA 2. I can understand why you were angry over PDA 2. I said some regrettable things in the video. Like, yeah, man, look, it's fucking great. It's not that big of a deal. I get why you're angry, but, um, I don't know. I was just having fun doing it, and I know that kind of fuels the, the business, um, plan of fucking people in the ass with gay ass unboxings. But, I don't know. Well, you gotta keep in mind, when I make videos on things, I don't necessarily recommend doing what I do in the videos. Do as I say, don't do as I do. You know, if I play a game, that doesn't mean I'm saying play the game. If I play on a certain CSGO website, that doesn't mean necessarily play on that website. Just do what I do. You don't have to do what I do. I'm not, like, I don't know. It sounds weird, but, you know, don't just fucking follow my lead. F ah, fuck. Got a crown. Okay. Yeah, don't just follow my lead mindlessly. Like, you should just listen to my words. If I say something's good or I recommend doing it, then fair enough. But, yeah. I didn't say, oh yeah, everyone go, everyone if you got paid it too, go waste your money on this shit, like, that's not what I said. Oh shit, at least we've got a fucking purple this time, so we've got ourselves some antlers. Which isn't too shabby at all. That's so much worse worth, I mean, antlers are pretty hot, right? Antlers. Was it worth 20 pence? Wow. Oh, okay, so there's a red antlers, and then, hmm, I don't know what the difference is. Like, these ones are like red ones, but they aren't, they don't have a special effect or anything, so it's not worth too much money at all. I mean, still, I've made, I made a profit, so it's whatever. I'm not sure if I'm gonna... Um, keep these or not. Well, if I'm just going to sell them and, I don't know, just fucking reap the rewards of making some fat stacks of money, you know? Got myself some shades, okay. Cool. It's not like you can get weapon skins or anything. Like, these are all just purely cosmetics and they are also very, very basic, you know? Like, there's no denying that. They're nothing crazy. But, still, they are something which have got value because a lot of people play this game because it's free to play. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. That was close. That was close. 3D glasses still. I think 3D glasses by myself are worth a small amount. I mean, I've only got two purple, so it must be worth something, right? Doesn't look like it. 40 pence. Yeah, so I must have, like, um, I don't know, miss seen one of these before. Legendary 3D glasses. Oh, it's from Primal, uh, Primal Carnage Extinct. Yeah. No thanks. I'm not really too interested in dinosaurs, mate, but thank you for the very generous offer. So we have two keys left, and we have two boxes left, which are the blue and the red mystery boxes. What are we going to get? Probably a pile of shit. But let's see. I mean, I don't want every game to copy this kind of thing, but you can see why people do it, because it makes money. Um, this game was completely free to play before, and with this kind of, like, even if everything's worth not that much money, which isn't true, things are worth a lot of money, it, like, the developer gets a cut of every single transaction on this game. They get, like, a 5% cut, I think it is, so even if everything sells for 50 pence, you know, you're still getting, like, 2 or two cents each time, and that just builds up after transaction, after transaction, after transaction, you know, because there's so many transactions, but there's things which are worth actually money, so that's how we make um, quite a lot of money from this, and that's actually it. I'm... Um, I'm straight out of fucking shit right now, so let's go ahead and put on my tuxedo top and my tuxedo pants, and, uh, looks like I'm ready to start a game right here, I mean, look at how fucking sexy my style looks. Look at him. It's a shame there's no music right now, it is a bit quiet to be honest, but anyway, um, I just want to do this video because, um, people were a bit upset over Payday 2's video, so, not that I've really sh shined any light on that whole thing, but I just did it for fun. I kind of shined a small amount of light, but not, not too much. Um, but yeah, definitely check out Unturned. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. See, this is a game which I am actually seeing I am recommending checking out. And I don't know how the keys work exactly. I guess maybe the keys can't be found in a game because the keys just seem to be cheaper. I mean, looking at the market, they were 73 pence each. And I bought them for 75p, but the, the, the price on the keys fluctuated a lot. Like, that's why I assumed you could only, you could get them in game. Uh, one second, I need to change the game to Unturned. And then search for key. So you can see the price right here, it fluctuates a fuck ton. Or not a fuck ton, but you can see it fluctuates quite a lot. So it, it sold below market value for a while. You can buy them off the market for 73p. So I don't know if I just, I don't know, market going a bit weird or you can actually buy, get them in game. I, I really don't don't know because I haven't played the game. But I'm going to play it in a second actually because I do want to try out, like I said, the new map which has snow on it. You know, it looks really sexy. Like I could go ahead and load it up right now. And just how look at how sexy my character is. I don't know how to actually go third person, which is a problem. Alright, look at me go, boys. I can point at shit. There's a way to talk in game as well. Like, uh, I mean, this game is multiplayer, so playing it by yourself is kind of boring. But you can see, like, the UI and shit is really nice now. You can rotate your character, and it's like the UI right here, the skills menu. Everything's been changed in this game. You can see the map right here. I am currently 
beside White Horse in Yucken, whatever the fuck this map's called. Whatever, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all good stuff. There'll be a link below in the description to Unturn if you do want to go ahead and check it out. If not, that's completely fine. I can't jump because I'm out of stamina. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all good stuff. And I shall see you guys. Uh, 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 uh. Fucking die, you prick. There we go. Oh my god, look at that ragdoll. Oh my god, so sexy. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. There's blood everywhere.